This week is producing remarkable progress on the bridge. Be sure and watch to the end to catch it all. Tuesday saw considerable work put into reinforcing the forms that will contain concrete on the east abutment. Bearer plates were evident on the pedestal. Work would begin shortly to trim down the form boards. Considerable care would be taken to ensure an absolutely solid, leak-tight form. On the west abutment, the drill operator who had given such great service on the east side was now preparing to work there. Preparations to take the bearer plates for the bridge involve both pedestals. It probably goes without saying that a precise fit is critical. This was the situation on Tuesday afternoon, with preparations apparently complete for concrete. But there was one activity remaining, perhaps anticipating a time when quite soon the waters approaching the bridge will have to be controlled, two members of the crew prepared a boom. But there was no stopping the Kawartha Voyageur making her last trip down the Rideau Canal this year and returning to Kingston around lunchtime. An early examination of the west abutment revealed that the bearer plates were in place and rebar was quickly being introduced. We'll return later to the west abutment. But we should note that the iron workers have returned to the site with new steel frames. It's hot work moving heavy metal. Before we witness any steel installation, there's something else going on. It definitely involves the east abutment. No additional explanation is required when a concrete pumper arrives on site. Inevitably, not too much later, it's joined by a massive ready-mix truck from Lafarge. The scene is quickly set for a concrete pour on the east abutment. A concrete pour is always a team game. Last minute checks are made, there can be no mistakes at this stage. The pumper operator moves forward to await the go signal. A final check on critical levels. And it's time for the concrete to flow. With the odd little adjustment along the way. No concrete work is done without a good finish. With the concrete in place, the iron workers can move in to begin their installation. Just like the concrete, sometimes there's a little finishing required. Welding begins before the day is done. And there's always time for a little bit of grinding and drilling. Progress is quite rapid. Mm -hmm. 
given the significance of any mistake made at this stage, there are frequent checks. We'll end this two-day update with a look back at the west abutment. Everything there is shaping up pretty well, and before long, forms should be going up. I'll close there by offering you a look at a tug and barge combination making their way out on Lake Ontario. Thanks for watching.